Hello guys and welcome. This is gonna be a short video for those who are curious or only beginners who didn't actually taste the game that much. This video is about how does it look and how are you able to add your country to the HRE. Now in this situation we are playing as Nevers because Nevers say never. It's the latest achievement in the Dharma expansion and uh, what we need is well we need cores on all of france now it's not an easy task especially for what some will call a casual player however i was able to achieve this an alliance with france an alliance and a marriage with castile and the palatinate yes the palatinate is now the actual emperor of the hre it seems that Austria wasn't in their greatest days, so the switch happened. However, the Palatinate achieved um, the Emperor role right after I took uh, quite a bit of, uh, of provinces from Burgundy and they did uh, demand unlawful territory, which obviously I refused. If you look at the relations here, you can see that I was finally able to improve relations, get an alliance and then get the royal marriage and that actually helped me add all the provinces to the empire the first step in uh, adding your country to the hre is adding especially the capital to the hre in our situation both both uh, charlelois and Auxerre are not were not added to the hre however the french comte or something like that that's already an HRE province. Now the next step after being close to an HRE province is to core your province that's next to the HRE province and hope that you have enough influence with the emperor to actually add that province there by clicking that button right there. The one that says remove Charleroi from the Holy Roman Empire is the same button that actually adds your province if, if you have sufficient relations or a sufficiently good relation with the emperor now because we were uh, uh, bordering the french comte i was first able to add charleroi to the hre and then auxerre and right now well right now we just have to add the capital adding the capital to the holy roman empire will give it the protection of the emperor and increase the imperial authority by one by adding our capital to the empire, we will get the following benefits. That's diplomatic reputation and it's not the only thing that's, uh, that comes as a bonus. After clicking the button and before becoming an HRE member, you have this uh, pop-up. It basically tells you that the Federation of Kingdoms and Principalities that constituted the Holy Roman Empire at times made up the largest part of Central Europe. The size of the empire varied at different times and it was loosely organized during most of this existence but the german and austrian lands always constitute an integral part of the empire now the question is do we want to become part of the empire and as you can see this will turn us into a member of the empire so again the most important thing before becoming part of the empire is having your capital added to the empire but as you could see in our case the capital was too far away from the closest closest hre um, province that did not belong to us so after getting some new provinces we had to core them add them to the empire and then move closely towards our capital and that actually assures that we are now fully um, fully integrated in the Holy Roman Empire and we can benefit from being defended from outside interventions like France, like England and so on and so on. That being said, I hope this was uh, mildly interesting for you guys. I know I would have wanted to see this when I started first uh, playing Europa Universalis. And with that in mind, I can wish you a really beautiful day and, you know, don't forget to play your video game.